Hey. Oh my god, that was so feminine. Um, this is my fourth attempt at making this video. Because the other attempts have literally been shit. Um, today is Tuesday the 8th of November 2011. The time is um, 11.18 in the evening. Um, I wasn't going to make a video until next week. Why do I always say that? I'm not going to make a video. I wasn't going to make a video and then I do. I might as well just stop saying that. Um, I wasn't going to make a video until next week. But. I have just watched a programme on television um, in the UK it aired this evening it was on channel 4 at 10pm called My Transsexual Summer and wow it was it was good I tell you something it was bloody good um, it followed four male to female transsexuals and three female to male transsexuals um, which the abbreviated terms are MTF, male to female, and FTM, which is myself, female to male. Um, and it was good. It was really good. It was such an eye opener. Um, my mum really enjoyed the programme as well. She cannot wait till the next episode next week. Actually, neither can I. Um, I just felt like I connected with a lot of what the um, FTMs were saying you know the dudes the what the dudes were saying on there I could just completely understand um, and it was just brilliant I think I think people do have to people in general do have to have more knowledge about this this certain topic because sometimes it is viewed as such a taboo t subject among with many others um, and taboo subjects are not talked about and then that's when stupid stuff happens um, people end up hurting themselves or whatnot. So yeah, it was a very good program. I think it's a lot harder for a man to become a woman than a woman to become a man. I think it's a lot, lot harder. Um, so um, I had to stop briefly there due to the fact that my mum was coming upstairs um, I don't really want to be caught making videos that sounds really rude but I don't want to be caught um, so I had to stop briefly there so yeah back on the subject what I was saying um, it is a lot harder for a man to become a woman than a woman to become a man just because I mean it all depends on your nature as well it all depends if you look feminine if you look masculine it's just women can get away if you're a woman wanting to become a man you can get away with wearing such masculine clothes whereas if you're a man wanting to become a woman you know it's a lot harder to wear a skirt or a dress um, so yeah that's my view really on on that topic um, I mean I don't know what you guys out there think if that's the way that I have said it is right or if you may have completely different views um, a week I cannot wait because a week tomorrow I have my second um, appointment at the gender clinic um, in Leeds. I go back there and it's just one step closer to getting hormones and just starting to get everything right. I mean, 
the one major thing I cannot wait for hormones to do is to stop my periods because to me they are the most unnatural thing because they are a thing that I have to go through every month and it gets really frustrating actually because I never asked to have them and for me for so, so many years it has been quite painful in my mind and also in my body physically and emotionally should I rather say um, it's become it's painful um, so and then every month it's like I have to go through the most for me the most unnatural thing so when it comes to starting hormones and I think it, after a couple of months of being on hormones I think then is when they stop and I don't even think I'll notice them stopping because after they've stopped I won't even notice because for me it'll just become normal although saying that who can define normal nobody can define normal anymore um, but it will become more normal for me um, and then obviously my voice breaking going through um, male puberty going facial hair which I cannot wait for see sometimes I get so frustrated because I bind myself down um, I do have a big chest so I try to bind myself down as much as I can and sometimes I feel as if it doesn't work even though it does but I feel it doesn't I mean how can I be called a lady when I look like I've got no breasts you know what I mean um, it gets really frustrating I get called a lady by the customers at work which obviously they don't know the situation I'm in they don't know um, what I'm going through or anything like that. there's only a few customers that do know that uh, which I probably serve every week and maybe the uniform hides I don't know the whole body the whole you know maybe you can't even tell whether I have a chest or not but even just being called a lady by the customers at work it's so frustrating and I want to end up saying somewhere but I know that I can't because imagine having to explain it or even thinking of explaining it to every customer it's just like no it's an ergo area it's it becomes so stressful <laughs> um, sorry if I'm not being very I don't know can't think of the word I'm a bit tired tonight actually I've been working all day so I've been working from 9 o'clock this morning until quarter to 5 this afternoon this tea time this evening I don't know what you call it um, and oh my god what fun today I can honestly say the people that I work with are complete nutters they're brilliant don't get me wrong but they're complete nutters we had so much fun there was um, some spillage of secrets which I hope are not repeated to anybody else otherwise I will be I will go as red as a beetroot let me put it that way um, really good there got to the gym this morning and then got straight to work obviously came home had a shower I'm not that much of a scruff <laughs> Um, so yeah week tomorrow I'm looking forward to it um, like I said before it's one step closer can't wait for it can't wait for next week next Monday which is the 14th of November it's my birthday I'm going to be 22 
Um, so that's even better and I've got the week off work. So it's just going to be nice to relax and chill out. Because I have been doing a lot of work recently. Um, so it's going to be nice as that. So yeah, I hope this video ain't too boring. Thought I'd make a quick update. Um, like I said, I had to stop the video before um, simply because my mum was coming upstairs, which I don't like. I don't like to be seen making videos, if you know what I mean. I don't mind making them and posting them on YouTube, but I don't like to really be seen. Um, so yeah, I think the next time I will be posting will most likely be next week. Um, and I shall let everybody know how it goes. Um, so I'm going to say, take care everyone. Got any comments, questions, whatnot, just give us a bell. Um, I don't mind answering questions at all. Whatever helps. And see you all later. Bye.